This tutorial will teach you how to use containers and transporters. The parts will be palletized before being transported to the customer. Add a new frame called Distribution to the Exercise folder in the class library. The line for palletizing will be built and tested first. We will use transfer stations in this tutorial. Add two sources to the frame. Name the first source pallet source. Name the second source, part source. Add one single proc and one buffer to the frame. Name the single proc, packing. Add a line object. Add one single proc and name it staging. Connect the objects as shown. It is very important not to connect the parts of the pallet line. Add a transfer station from the Tools tab on a toolbox. Do not connect this object to the other objects. Drag and drop the buffer onto the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to load and part station is checked. Drag and drop the line onto the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to load and target station is checked. Enter the sensor position as 2. Double click the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to load, parts from is set to buffer, and target is on is set to line. Go to the advanced attributes tab. Check the box for always stop container. Add a drain and connect as shown. Add an event controller. Reset and run the model. Both sources are producing the entity MU. Entities cannot be loaded onto entities. The pallet source must produce containers. Drag and drop the container MU onto the pallet source. Drag and drop the Entity MU onto the Part Source. Open the Pallet Source. Ensure MU is set to Container. Enter an interval of 5 minutes. Double click on the Part Source. Enter an interval of 3 minutes. Reset and run the model. Notice the difference between the MUs and that the entities is loaded onto the container. Stop the model. Delete the drain. The transporter system will now be added to the model. Add a check object to the model. 
To add a curved section, hold the control key until the desired curve is obtained. Two sections of track must be created. Connect the sections of the track using the connector. Add a source object. Rotate the source until the desired orientation is obtained. Connect the source to the track. Drag and drop the transporter onto the source. Add a single proc and drain to the frame. Connect as shown. Rename the single proc as shown. Add a transfer station to the frame. Drag and drop the staging single proc onto the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to load and part station is checked. Drag and drop track onto the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to load and target station is checked. Enter the sensor position as one. Add another transfer station. Drag and drop track 1 onto the station. Change station type to unload. Ensure part station is checked. Enter center position as 1. Drag and drop the unload customer single proc onto the transfer station. Ensure station type is set to unload and target station is checked. Open the transporter source. Change the time of creation to number adjustable. Change amount to 2. Reset and run the model. The transporters do not wait at the load point for parts. Instead, they travel on the track. To stop this from happening, double click on the transfer station. Go to Advanced Attributes tab and check the box for Always Stop Container. If Always Stop Container box is checked at the load station, the same box cannot be checked at the unload station. Reset and run the model.